Hello students. Let's discuss sulfate and phosphate ions tests which are tested individually. That means they do not belong to dilute or concentrated sulfuric acid group as we have discussed nine ions before them. So they are to be tested individually. This will be experiment number 10 of your chemistry practicals. The aim is to test the presence of sulfate in the given salt. First, you will write the physical test like this. Color. What is the color of the salt? And the observation. Order. If there is a particular smell, specific characteristic smell and solubility. And when we do the cations in detail, then we will understand that for a particular color, for a particular uh, characteristic smell and solubility criteria, how do we write the inference? So for the time being, you can leave these two columns as it is. And then we start with the chemical tests. Barium fluoride test. The aqueous solution of the salt, we add a few drops of dilute HCl and then we add barium fluoride solution. In this test, even if you do not add dilute HCl, you straight away take barium fluoride solution and add it to aqueous solution of the salt, you will get the test. So white precipitate is obtained if it is sulfate and if you take small quantity of the precipitate and add concentrated HCl to it, it will be insoluble which confirms that it is sulfate. The same test goes for sulfite also but in that the only difference is you get a white precipitate which is soluble. Here it is insoluble. Okay. The next test is lead acetate test. We take salt solution, aqua solution again in a test tube and add lead acetate solution to it. A white precipitation will be obtained and if you take excess of ammonium acetate solution, this white precipitate is going to completely dissolve in it, which again confirms that it is sulfate ion. Now the result in accordance with the aim, the given salt contains sulfate in it. These are the reactions involved for both the tests. The first one is barium fluoride test. So we take aqueous solution of the salt with barium fluoride solution aqueous and we get a white precipitate of barium sulfate which will be insoluble in concentrated HCl. And the lead acetate test, you take aqueous solution of the sulfate salt, add lead acetate aqueous solution to it. Again, you get a white precipitate of PBSO4. So this completes the tests for sulfate. Now next would be experiment number 11. Aim is to test the presence of phosphate in the given salt. Again, physical tests you will write in the same manner as you have been writing for other ions. And then it has only one test that is called ammonium molybdate test. The aqueous solution of the salt will add concentrated nitric acid and then excess of ammonium molybdate solution and then heat the test tube carefully which is having all these contents you'll obtain a canary yellow precipitation or coloration, yellow coloration, which confirms that there is phosphate in the given salt. Now, the given salt contains phosphate would be the result. And this is the reaction involved. Phosphate, aqueous solution of the salt with ammonium molybdate. So, only molybdate ion is written here. And in the acidic medium, because we added HNO3, this will give you a canary yellow precipitation because of the formation of this chemical, this compound, which is ammonium phosphomolybdate. This is canary yellow in color, which confirms that there is phosphate in the given salt. Now, this completes the salt analysis scheme for anions, which are in your syllabus in class 11th and 12th according to CBSC. Now next presentation would be shared where I will be discussing cations one by one in the same manner as I have discussed all the anions. Thank you.